half of us votes to fire you. Okay, well, I fire me too then, I guess. Good. You can you can just hang out though. You don't you don't have to go anywhere. Just we, hang out. Okay, that's it. That's it. Just you're fired, but just can you keep hanging out? Yeah, I'll be here. You have some strengths that are that are useful to our corporation. You won't get paid anymore. But can you stop talking like that? That's I mean I'm, I know I can't make any requests because I don't. Well, really, now that the firing, I don't really work here anymore. Is, is the, has the firing took? Did it took? If it's took, then I'll stop with the voice. Yeah, yeah, I'm fired. That's cool. Okay. All right. I'm glad to hear it. I'll, I mean, I will take your, I'll take the portion of uh, the proceeds that usually go to you. The, the proceeds. And I'll, uh, I'll proceed them to myself. <laughs> they will proceed into my wallet. Um, well, when you take the test, there's like a time limit. So we're going to, I'm going to read some of these and we're going to say what we are. And, uh, you know, you can, you can, you can answer for yourself. Well, one of the interesting things that Jason said about this is that the, it actually is recording how long it takes you to answer the question. Mm -hmm. So if you immediately answer it on one side to the extreme, that's going to get more weight than somebody who waited 20 seconds, which I think is all, all the time you had. And if you if it gets past that mark, whatever it is, 20 seconds or whatever, it automatically goes to the next question and it records that you were indecisive on that one, which the so science is taking all that into account. The science is just uh, There's so much palpable. Science. So much it's science. Palpable. It's dripping with science. I spe like spending time with futurists or I like spending time with historians. I don't spend time with either. You are a futurist. But I put, You spend every minute with yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I put I didn't actually did not put the black for that. I would put the gray because I would be like historians are cool too. They got they know a lot of history. I think I put I put right in the middle. I strive to win first place. I enjoy playing the game. So you're first place all the way? Uh, no, I put it on the gray. I, I wouldn't go all the way to the black. I'm all the way on enjoy playing the game. So far that I don't even enjoy playing the game. That's sad. Wow, that's, in that's interesting. That's sad, man. That is so sad. I always worked hard. I am a slow but steady performer. Uh, I'm not a slow and steady performer, but I haven't always worked hard. <laughs> but I, I'm more of a hard worker than I am a steady, slow performer. So I went with the light gray. I'm going to go with the light gray on, on that. On the right or the left? The left. Oh, okay. I'm going, I've always worked hard. All the way? All the way. I'm a sensitive person. I'm a logical person. I I put me right in the middle and I put you Well, you can't all put the way me the anyway, right. anywhere. Just because I'm fired doesn't mean you can put me anywhere. Where'd you put yourself? Uh, I guess you're- uh, On the right, yeah. Totally definitely. logical. Not as, no sensitivity. Uh, no, you see, because you don't understand the complexities that are me. I didn't go all the way to that because I am sensitive. I cry you know, more often than you do. I cry, I cry more often than you do. That has so, nothing to do with sensitivity. That's about tear ducts. Oh, come on. I went to the light gray on that. I can make people feel that they are someone important to me. I can make people feel successful. I was on the gray closer to important to me. Is there, some of these are tough. I think, took a long time. I think I went in the middle on this one. I can't remember. Being a confidant to others gives me satisfaction. I love a secret. I want to be a leader of others. I like being a leader. Mm, so I like being a secret leader. If you're in the middle on this one, I'm just gonna say you're indecisive. No, no, I was on the leader side on this one. I was on the gray, I was gray on the other side. I like to be a confidant. Every day I talk many times about visions for the future. That's you, obviously. I set aside planning times to think about the future. That's me. I don't ever set aside the time. I don't set aside the time, but if I was going to do something here, it would be over there. I believe there are coincidences. Every event has its reason. No, it says, I believe there are no coincidences. <laughs> this is, this is a every, key, dis key distinctive. Every event has its reason. <laughs> For me, coincidences are luck, chance, a fluke, or an accident. Mm. Mm. I think I put. I was on the reason side, but not all the way to the not all the way there. Yeah, me too. I am fully alive, full of joy and delight. I am aware of all the factors affecting the situation. <laughs> I put totally on the right. Yeah, I'm I wish I could be uh, full of joy and delight, at least for a glimmer of moment. I'm more on the right than I am on the left. I want to be a CEO of a large organization. I am a bridge builder for people. Who are these people that need bridges? I definitely am not a bridge builder. I, it could be one heck of a bridge, though. I mean, think about how long I am. I could span lots of... 
It didn't um, say I'm a bridge builder of people. No, if like there was a situation like there was an earthquake and this earth split open and they were like, we need a bridge person to go across, I would be the number one candidate because I'm so tall. <laughs> Is that what they're talking about? And it could happen, so you better not, be ready. If not, I'm screwed. I, I, I skipped that one probably. By stu- last one, by studying history, I can figure out the future. My future will be independent of my past. I'm definitely on the left on this. Studying history? History repeats itself? I'm all about history as it relates to the future. <laughs> my future will be independent of my past. These questions just, can be frustrating, yeah, I I'm, think. I'm but so frustrated right now. No, I'm not. <laughs> I think one of the interesting things, though, is that there are four domains of leadership strength, which is... Um, the, the, each strength falls into a particular category. You have executing, that's people who get things done. Influencing, you got it, people who make things happen. Relationship building, strategic thinking. So the interesting- no, executing is get stuff done. Influence is getting other people to get stuff done. Yeah, yeah, I, I, well that's what I was thinking without saying it because you know I'm a strategic thinker, I didn't know that. Your, your mind was in the future, <laughs> yeah. but your mouth was in the right. present. People who can, motiv- can motivate people to do things, people who are just all about getting them done, people who are all about relationships, and then people who are all about thinking about strategy. Now the thing about our office, as we went around and we analyzed everybody, is that all of us were executors and influencers and st- strategic thinkers, but many of us, including me, had zero in the relationship building. You had one in the relationship building, your individualization, which is interesting because as we stated already, you didn't think that that really applied to you and I would never describe you like that. But one of the things it says about individualization is noticing things about people. Mm-hmm, yeah. So you're not, it doesn't translate into- Buying like gifts. Giving gifts But I anything. do like to analyze people. But like, I like to label people. Well, the interesting thing is, okay, let's say that me and you go to some event and we meet somebody, and then we're going home. I will talk about some idea that they had. Like, did you, you did you meet that guy who who was doing that thing and he had this idea and we will and I want to talk about the idea and you'll be like, yeah, but did you see his haircut? <laughs> like his no, haircut. I don't, I don't bad mouth no, no, people. No, 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 no. But you'll notice, like, did you notice that he had on a shirt that uh, like had one sleeve? No, I think it goes a little deeper than that. I'm not superficial. Uh, it's it's like, did you understand how he kept taking the conversation back to this particular thing about himself? Or he or was about, a close talker. Or he was a close talk. Yeah, something like that. You'll notice something characteristic of the person, and I'll notice something characteristic of the thing idea that they talked about. The idea. But if their breath is bad, we're both going to be. Oh like, yeah, Man, I'm not saying I can't bad. smell bad breath. Their bad breath is bad. Or see a weird shirt. I mean, I can't. <laughs> or a toupee. That, but that's interesting. You're really <laughs> yeah. bad at spotting toupees. Yeah. Because you'll you'll be like, did you see that guy's hair? I'll be like, yeah, you mean his toupee? And you'll be like, what? Is it a toupee? <laughs> How many times have you seen a toupee? That's you happened a few times. A, yeah. <laughs> believe it or not, regularly. I see. So you're an activator. You're driven by your talents. You might quiet certain outspoken people with your quick or clever thinking. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sometimes individuals choose to submit to whatever you tell them to do. That's right. This partially explains why only a few of them attempt to resist or ignore your orders. That's right. I don't do whatever you tell me to do. Well, I'm, mani- I'm manipulative. I, I, don't, I, I don't do it outwardly. I get people to submit to me and they don't even know they're submitting to me. I don't say, submit to me, man. You know what I'm saying. I've, I've, <laughs> I've heard you say that a few times. Uh, Are we going through these other ones right quick? Uh, you are a maximizer. I think the, the, the thing that we ended up kind of uh, homing in on mostly was this, I have ideation and you have maximizer, and that's when, from a creative standpoint, and that's what Jason kind of keyed in on. Yeah. It's, it's actually, it's something we could not have designed, but it is very much this the case that you think that excellence, not average, is your measure. Like a diver after pearls. This is when I come in and you've got the mask on and I'm always like, what is that? Yeah. You search them out, watching for telltale signs of, of strength. You polish the pearl until it shines, and that's what the, the thing of polish is about, right? The bottle of polish that you have at your desk. Right, I'm, I'm polishing pearls, which I keep in my pocket. And sometimes you're polishing turds. If I give you a bad idea, right, I'll it's polish a turd. That turd. You know, it looks like a pearl, don't bite into it. It's one thing to say, <laughs> talk about the turds. It's another thing to like milk the turd. 
<laughs> well, I listen, I, I do have a lot of ideas and I make some turds and make some pearls. And you also come up with ideas. That are in, uh, and then I, I polish them. Um, like an exotic car. But that, but that is. I, I would never buy an exotic car, by the way. You wouldn't because you're too, you know, you're too strategic. You want a Prius. <laughs> too strategic. Now I get uh, a rocket ship in a heartbeat. Command, I instinctively you periodically issue direct orders to certain individuals. I just wrote this because I thought it was funny. Some may feel you are overstepping the bounds of your authority or being a bit bossy. Oh, come on. Sometimes you feel a little bit bossy, man. That's what this is. Agree or disagree. Would you say that? Because I would only be, I, I would Don't be. Don't throw me under the bus, boss. Would you say that though? I mean, you just fired me. It was a role play in a on a wheel. I think there's some truth here, but I I, I think it's a slight mischaracterization. Defensiveness. Um, last one. Last one. Analytical. Your analytical theme challenges other people. Prove it, you say. Never heard you say that, by the way. Prove it! In the face of this kind of questioning, some will find their brilliant theories wither and die. For you, this is precisely the point. Yep. That idea you got, that brilliant one, that you see withering and dying, yep. That's because of me. I'm the witherer of your ideas. Bring me your ideas and pearls, and I will polish the pearls, and I will kill your ideas. I would say that this... This happens, doesn't happen like this. You never say, <laughs> prove, prove it. it. Uh, prove it. But there are times when it's just like, hey man, what do you think about this idea? And then you're like, well, did you check and see if like, you know, that had been done before? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and then it's been done before. And then you're like, see, let that idea wither and die. Wither and die. May you wither and die as well. We'll see you tomorrow. Whoa. That didn't, that didn't come across right. I meant that in a good way. May you live long and prosper. 